Hey kids, welcome to lesson 10, building an app, color sleuth number two. Let's make one square slightly different. Adding two lines to the bottom of the code you have that looks something like this. Let's make one square slightly different. Add two lines to the bottom of your code you have that looks something like below. And we have right here a what looks to be a new variable and a new set property for the background. It looks like they just randomly chose a button and we'll just choose one just so we know what we're working with. What does this do? We're doing two things. We're creating a variable to hold the RGB string of a different color and overriding the background color of one of the buttons after just having set it a few lines earlier. That makes sense. We always want to start off with something that is clean and work from there. This seems pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and tackle this problem. Looks like our code from the previous lesson is imported. I'm just going to go ahead here and comment this out. This is our older code. And this is going to be our new code. I can change this down the road, but for right now, I just want to make sure I am getting it right. Since we're doing one, I'm just going to come over here, copy and paste this code down here. Our new variable is not color. Now our new variable is called diff color. So we're just going to put that right in there. Remember your camel case. Lowercase the first word, uppercase your other words. This one, the values are going to change. So we're going to go up to 250, 175, and the other one is a 20. Setting the property of button one, the background color, we're not doing the variable now. Now we're doing diff color. It'll write it in orange, and then it'll immediately, and faster than we can see, overwrite it with a slightly different version of orange. Let's go ahead and see if that's what happens. As you can see, three are a darker orange and this is a little lighter. Even I can tell that difference a little, but it's getting hard. This is gonna be a hard project for me. But that's all right, we will push on through. That's all code really wanted from us, just to add two lines and we did, we changed it to the same values and our code ran as intended. I think that's all code.org wanted from us. Let's see how we did. Hey, good job kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.